but I'm going to start uh, hopefully doing it a little more often, but I'm going to start streaming um, some uh, coding activities for people, um, and I'm also going to be posting these on social media as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. I am um, using, uh, let's close all this stuff. I'm using the Star Wars um, The Force Coding Kit by Kano today. And we're just going to go through the first couple exercises. These streams are only going to be about 15 minutes. So we'll just see how far we get. And we're just going to we're just gonna do it. So the first exercise, I've already been through the first five. I'm actually having trouble with six, which might not be a good sign. Um, but let's... Go to the first one. I've already done most of these, but we're just going to go go through them again. Um, so we're going to learn how to power up our lightsaber. So as you can see on the um, top corner screen, um, basically what this coding kit does is um, there's like a, a bunch of sensors that um, I don't know what the right word is. It sends out little like um, almost like radar beams um, up into the air and then you can use your hand and control um, different actions on the screen so um, you'll see what I'm talking about as we get get going um, but what, I'll, what the motions I'm doing with my hand you can see on the top left and then the bottom left is just a picture of my face if you want to see that <laughs> and then the big screen in the kind of center right is uh, the iPad screen so Let's power up a lightsaber. Um, so the challenge, okay. Oh, there you are. On your journey, you need to learn to wield a weapon, the weapon of a Jedi, a lightsaber. Blow our code blocks. They control what you see on the canvas. Next. Follow the yellow, follow the instructions up here, drag blocks and connect them to create code. The yellow beacon shows you the next step. Sweet. Add a lightsaber to the canvas using the draw lightsaber block. Drag it with your mouse or finger onto into the code space. All right, here we go. Bam! And there's a lightsaber. Wow. Okay, every one frame a lightsaber will be drawn into the canvas. Sweet. Now you'll add some code that lets you control the length of the blade with your hand. Cool. Drag the force kit height block into the code space. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to drag this right here. Boom. Oh, and it even gives you a video. Sweet. Every lightsaber comes with a blade length adjuster. Move your hand up and down to control the blade length. Ooh, look at that. So on the right side, you can see I'm moving my hand up and the lightsaber is going the length of the the height of the lightsaber or they call it the length is going up and down as I'm moving my hand up farther away and then closer the closer I get the shorter it gets so that's cool next um connect the code blocks together to make programs got it got it very good. On to more adventures. Don't worry, I'll be there every step of the way. I've been told I have to. Haha, uh -huh. cool. So we learned how to do the length of the lightsaber and kind of use the height um, and the proximity of where your hand is at on the radar thing. So that's cool. Next one add sound. This one might be kind of crappy because I don't think we're going to be able to hear anything. No. Okay. That's okay. All right. Well, just trust me here. I think we're going to have a sound coming out here. A lightsaber's blade is powered by a kyber crystal. 
I hope I pronounced that right. All my Star Wars fans, I'm sure, will uh, hate me if if I don't, but whatever. This lightsaber once belonged to Luke Skywalker and then Rey. Time to add its distinctive sound. All right. Set the lights on your force kit to match the saber. Drag the set feedback LEDs block with your mouse or finger into the code space. Okay, so we're going to take force kit set feedback LEDs color all the way down to the end of this every code block. Let's see here. And then raise lightsaber has a blue kyber crystal. Move your hand to see the blue light on your kit get brighter. Oh, I see. So if you go, if you look at the top left screen, you can see now the light on my little um, radar sensor is blue. So I'm assuming I can change this to like a different color. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll go back to blue. I don't know if that was the right blue, but that's okay. Okay, add the saber's hum using the speaker loop block. Drag it into the code space. All right. Boom. Set the volume of the hum so it gets quieter the closer your hand is to the sensors. Drag the speaker volume block into the code space. Okay, set the volume of the hum so it gets quieter the closer you get. Okay. Put the speaker volume in the code block. Pick up the force kit height block and drag it into the code space. Ooh, I know. Yeah, right there. So now the speaker volume is going to get higher or lower based on how the height of the lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Next. Huh, you did it. Well done. But do you have the focus to wield your lightsaber like a Jedi? Zero is your hand covering the sensors, and 100 is when it's furthest away. Cool. Got it. Next challenge. Continue your journey. Number three. I wonder if... <laughs> Dude, Cole, how's it going, man? Sorry, I just saw this. I'm new to this, so if you have any tips, let me know. Thanks, man. Cole's awesome. I love Cole. Probably one of the smartest dudes I know. Single-handedly got me through uh, all my computer science classes in college, so shout out to Cole. <laughs> um, all right, so let's learn how to swing the lightsaber. Um, okay, not as clumsy or random as a blaster. A lightsaber requires skill and connection to the force. Good luck. All right, let's see here. Drag the force kit pointer X block into the code space. All right. I'm going to drag. Oh, what did I do wrong? There we go. There we go. Into the X block. X position. Okay, I'll give this another video. Move your hand left and right to move the lightsaber. Whew. Oh, wow, that's cool. Can you guys see that? Here, I'll expand this. Wee. Can't move it up and down, though. Just left and right. Interesting. Okay. Next, drag the lerp block into the code space. That's a cool name. Where are we going? We're going at the angle. Oh, I see. We're tilting it. We're tilting it. Yeah. The alert block will help make the motion of the lightsaber smoother. Change 0 to negative 20. Alright, 20, negative. Change 200 to 20. Okay... Drag this block into the code space. All right. 
and I'm assuming, yep, we're going over here. Cool. And then I'm going to drag this one right here. Oh man, we're running out of space. Change the plus to divide. Okay, and change zero to eight. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hey, miss you too, dude. Gosh, I'm so bad at responding to chats. We will for sure link up sometime. Okay, let's see. So if we go full screen. Boom. I'm assuming there'd be some sweet sound effects. I'm going to work on getting sound on this so you guys can hear it. Because that would be cool. All right. Um, nice. Next. Watch where you're swinging that thing. <laughs> All right. Four. How much time we got left? Oh, we got like five minutes. Okay. Add more sounds. Um, let's go through this quick since you guys can't actually hear anything. Complete the lightsaber by adding sounds when it moves. Oh, okay. All of the blocks you need are now sorted into trays depending on what those blocks do. Open the events tray. Events tray. Drag this block into the code space. Dragging it. So now we got a new sort of function here. I guess they call it an event. This block will run the code inside of it when you swipe in different directions over the force coding kit. Change the forward swipe to left swipe. Okay, so we'll go left. Open the speaker tray. All right. Drag the speaker play block into the code space. Boom. Make a random lightsaber sound play when you swipe by using a random sound block. Open the speaker tray. Hmm. Well, I wanted to do hum, but whatever. Well, random hum from lightsaber. To change the lightsaber to lightsaber swings from the drop down list. Every time you swipe left, the block will pick a random sound from the saber swings category and play it. Swipe your hand left to hear a random lightsaber sound. I'm assuming there would be one, but we can't hear it, so that's cool. Actually, I think I could. Okay, well, I can hear it. You guys can't. That's cool. Let me do that. There we go. I'm going to work on the audio. We can do it. Okay. Make a random lightsaber sound play when you swipe your hand right to open the tree. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Move that to right. I'm going to do this with my right hand so I don't block the up above screen. Okay. Open the speaker. Play lightsaber hum. And then... Boom. And then we're going to change it to swings. Whoa, that's cool. Whew. They're both being activated, which I think is kind of weird. That's okay. Next. Yeah. That's a good idea. Try changing it to something different. What's this do? Oh, interesting. So it just plays whatever sound. Sweet. All right, I'm at 15 minutes, so I'm going to call it good there. Um, 
I might do another lightsaber Star Wars one later. I might do um, something else. Maybe a Sphero. Maybe a, I got a Harry Potter one. So uh, we'll figure it out. But uh, thanks for tuning in to the first official STEM Effect coding stream. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.